what's good everybody it's your boy O'Shea D. Jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity jump before I get into this I want to give a shout out to my man Aunt James at staffmusic.com we use his music and instrumentals in like 90% of the celebrity jump episodes he has a new link to his latest music Dawless Victory I'll put it at the first comment pinned to the top and if you want to buy some beats for him for your productions like we do, check him out. SWV Music Dima. Man, shit is getting real in these streets, family. I'm telling you, people are weaving and sandaling up. I know they're mad, and it's not my fault. Imagine you was hanging out um, with your friend and your girlfriend, okay? Now, her friend is a girl. She asks you for a kiss and you tell her, well, nah, boo, I can't give you a kiss because I'm actually with my girl. And, you know, if I don't, <laughs> if I kiss your ass, booty clapping sounds, I won't be getting no booty from her tonight. Then imagine that she said, well, then fuck you then. I'm going to get a kiss from my friend. She asked your girlfriend for a kiss. Your girlfriend say no. So to make her mad, I kiss my girlfriend in front of her. Give me like some kissing sound effects, Dima. Yeah, 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 I'm kissing my girl. I can't kiss you. And imagine she grabbed the gun and Dima, gunshots! That's exactly what happened with this young lady, Claudia Resendez Flores. Now let me tell you something, show. Let me tell you guys about this. Y'all gotta stop letting crazy people come to your house. A lot of y'all are letting broke ass people that got problems, broke ass people that got kids, live with you. And they're crazy, which is why when I meet most of y'all in public, I just keep it moving. Cause I don't want you guys messing up my stuff. But that's what happened. Claudia Flores, they was all drinking together. Okay, she wanted to kiss the dude in front of his girlfriend. Of course he's gonna say no. He wanted to kiss the girlfriend. She said no. They kissed each other. Gunshots! Okay. Now, I don't know what happened, but she killed Mr. Jones, James Jones. Shot his ass dead in the chest. Okay. Now, what happened with Miss Flores? She is married, but separated from her husband. And she has three children. I want to talk about this. This is this is more damaging. You are 28. You got three kids. You are separated from your husband. I wonder why. Okay, you're separated from your husband. You living with somebody else, probably in your three kids, because what? Let's count them. Dusty, sandaled up, broke, can't be trusted. Okay. You take your problems over to some other people because you are messed up. You end up killing somebody else because you're messed up. But see, here's what we want, don't want to talk about. It's a lot of children, family. Listen to what I'm talking about. They dealing with some mamas like this, except they ain't shot nobody yet. A lot of kids is growing up with parents like this. Okay? And I want to know something because, you know, we tend to have sympathy on uh, ladies in our society when things like this happen. But I wanna know where is the sympathy, number one, for the man that was shot? Where is the sympathy for these kids, okay? And where is the outrage that because you reject some lady, they go crazy? See, it's not just that. A lot of guys all the time reject women see women are okay with rejecting guys but when they get rejected you know what it what, what happens with some sisters not 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 certain sisters but certain ladies because she's not black but certain ladies are like who are you to reject me what do you mean that i can't have what i want i mean i talked about april mason earlier so many women out there in the in american society believe that they should get a man that they're not qualified for and whenever you call or tell a woman, hey, I'm not interested in you. Hey, I don't want to deal with you no more. Hey, I want to move on. It could be your ex. What starts to happen? 
especially if you have kids involved. They start becoming your worst enemy. They'll take the kid and start moving around and shit. They'll start spreading lies. All of a sudden, you're um, sad music. Girl, his his D his D little girl. His D is so small. A uh, 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 ant can jump. Use it as a driving a diving board for the swimming pool, girl. I'm telling you, his D is smaller than a finger snap. Look, they'll be going out there talking about your draws is, is shitty and everything. They'll just go out there and start saying anything. All of a sudden, you know, he abusive and, you know, he a musty. His breath stink. Breath wasn't stinking when he's with you, though, when he wanted to be with him. But then the brother start pulling up all the receipts, you know, with all the, I love you, I miss you, and all that. But see, now you want to ruin his life because he don't want to be with you. But why he don't want to be with you? Because something wrong with you. You already was 28. You had three kids by a man who you separated from, probably because you're unbearable to live with. But instead of you looking at your life and saying, hmm, you know what, right now, I don't need to be getting drunk and trying to kiss people in the mouth because your breath probably was thinking too. I need to really sit back and take care of these kids that I have. I need to get my life back on track. Getting drunk and kissing people and stuff, wanting to have threesomes because I'm nasty, that's not going to do me nothing in life. It's not going to get me nowhere, okay? I need to be in somebody's Baptist church in the choir stand. I need to get on the usher board, amen. You you, you wasn't thinking about that. You was thinking nasty thoughts because you wanted to thot it all the way up. And when you couldn't thot it up, gunshots, please! <laughs> now everybody got to die. Hmm? Because you couldn't get what you wanted. But see, she's not the only one. See, she might be one of the few to pull the trigger, but it's a lot of people that, you know, if I can't have you, can't nobody else have you. Now, see, when men do it, it's, oh, man, it's violence against ladies. We ought to stop that. And when women do it, it's like, oh, that's unfortunate. Sorry for the guy. No. No. She messed up. Okay, we got to call this stuff out because it is too much buffooning in these damn streets going on. All right. He don't want you, boo. What is it there about that? You don't understand. Take your ass on. Okay. So what he taunted you and kiss his girlfriend and like, and what kind of nerve is that? Like I used to live in DC. Shout out to DC. DC is a city back in the 2000s. A dude would walk up to you. Uh, why you with your girl and get at your girlfriend now usually he packing some heat and if you got a line more gunshots yeah so but you know what and she didn't even have her own gun she grabbed his gun and shot him you gonna give me this kiss or else right and that's what I'm saying I'm glad I'm ugly because don't nobody want me for like that for real so I ain't got to worry about nobody trying to shoot me because they don't want to get I don't want to give them a guess but this is how it be when you don't want to deal with them no more because usually it's because of something that they do they get cut. Some women can't take men not dealing with them no more. It's a, it's it hurts their feelings. But you know what? We live in a world where you know certain ladies feel like they can just get away whatever they want to get away with. Not all, but in this case, and this is stupid. So your kids don't have nowhere to stay no more. You messed up and you going to jail. Ha! Huh! Well, guys, it's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe, hit the bell, check out the first company at the top. And as you know, the buffoonery remains at an all time high. I'm out.